Hmm, I say, Boris, where did you find this particular book, huh? Where? Where? Really? In the library? I don't remember ever seeing this book before. You sure it was in the library? Was it hid somewhere? Hmm, yeah? Okay, so you, you rummaged through and found it, right? What? Really? Hmm. So it started making some kind of noise? And so you decided to bring it here and let me take a look at it? Oh, I say. Well, let me take a little closer look at it then. Hmm. Let's see. It says dark magic on it for, for, for one thing. So that's a dead giveaway. <laughs> dead giveaway. Huh. So, see if I can get it open. Whoa. Did you see that? Wow. Whoop. It just... Uh, it, that rascal wants to bite. You know something? You know what I think, Boris? I think that this book is cursed. Welcome everyone. Welcome to Monster Movie Night. I'm your internet horror host, Bobby Gum Monster, along with my fiend and pal, Boris T. Buzzard. We have a quandary tonight, dear folks. A quandary indeed. As you can see when you first came in, Boris has found this interesting old book, an old tome of dark magic, and it's cursed. That's right. It's so cursed that it tries to bite you whenever you try to open it and see what's inside. And I don't know what else is going to happen with it because it just seems like it, it's, it's making everything feel mm, from its, you know, we're usually dank and, and so morose and so wonderfully depressing. It's beginning to make us feel better. That's right. It's making the air clearer and everything's just beginning to get, dare I say, sun shiny. No, I tell you, we've got to do something about this. But I need help. So tonight's film brought by that uh, wonderful independent filmmaker, also starring Norman Butt himself, independent filmmaker and actor in this film called that's right this book is cursed <laughs> so let us get started with that film and I will be working on this particular tome or edition and see what we can uh, get started okay Boris okay everybody so let's get going for Norman Butt in this book is cursed. Let's go.
look at that. We're going about 60 miles per hour and we're getting 15 miles per gallon. You do know this thing's a piece of junk from the 80s and the gauges are all probably malfunctioning. You wanted to go camping, we're going camping. Yes, I wanted to go camping, not set fire to an oil field while we drag a tiny house through the woods. Well, it's a good compromise. I never even wanted to set foot in the woods again. Why? Is it because of last year, when your friends Steve, Floyd, and my old boyfriend Ted disappeared mysteriously and were never found, or were probably killed because they found a lot of blood and unidentifiable body parts? Of course that has got to be. just can't remember what. It seems that I blacked out that part of my life. You didn't kill them, Hoss, and neither did your brother. It was that crazy guy they found in the woods, covered in blood in an old beta car with a fake hood scoop. And it was full of guns! I wanted to take you back there so you could get past all this. So you could work through it and tell me what happened. Why your brother won't speak of it. What happened to Ted? And the others? There it is! Turn there! Don't worry, you can do this. Look, someone's been here recently. Are you kidding? Who else but us would be crazy enough to drive up here? Well, I think there's a couple more places in there that we could sell, don't you? Oh, most definitely. I think buying this old secluded graveyard down the old Haney logging camp road is the wisest investment that Budget Burials with Dignity has ever come up with. Without a doubt. When was this place last used? Um, 1998. But you know what? I've seen some tombstones in there that are dating back to the 1800s. You know what that means? Yeah! We can claim that we have some obscured Western hero buried in there that will attract more customers. Or, if the right legislation passes, we can dig them up as archaeological sites, loot the gold, resell the rest of the museum, and then resell the burial plots. Or just that lie about the old West hero thing. Well, let's look around some more, shall we? Okay. Oh, look! Here's those guys that killed all them prostitutes like 30 years ago. Okay, why are we stopping here? The campsite is right there. Are you really that afraid of going back to that campsite? It's going to be very good for you, Haas. If you face your fear, the nightmares will go away. Oh, what nightmares. The ones you keep telling me about. The ones you keep calling me in the middle of the night to tell me about. You know, giant tongue monsters, flying through the air, riding a giant snake.
See, that wasn't so. I'll set up the solar panel. Hard. Why didn't you tell me how to white thing in my beard? Lynn, did you lock this? Lynn! Lynn, could you hand me my keys? Sorry! Wait, Haas, I thought you said you packed this thing! Why does he need so many pants? I got it! Oh good! I was just... putting things away! You know, because you didn't do it. Ah. Oh good. Well, let's see if the power works. Ah, it does. Are you sure it's working correctly? I think so. Yeah, it's working. Maybe it's draining the battery. Fine, I'll go check. Nope. All good. All good. Uh, would you like to put your clothes away? Sure. Uh, 
Why did we park so far away? Because I didn't want to drive up there before walking it because I wanted to make sure that there wasn't any uh, sinkholes in the area. But anyway, uh, did you remember to bring the shovel? No. Oh, great. Well, I guess we'll just have to come get it the next time we go up there. Can we drive next time too? Oh, most definitely. Well, you know those uh, shady trees. All it takes is one fat squirrel on a limb and we're stuck up there for a while. That RV didn't seem to mind. Which reminds me to look into that. I thought I bought the whole road, but maybe I just bought the use of the road in the cemetery. Well, what about the woods? No. Are you sure we can use the road? Oh, I'm not stupid. Uh-oh. What? I left the lights on. Oh, I forgot. I got you something. You did? Yeah. Close your eyes. Really? Oh, come on, please. Just do it for me. All right. I'm closing them. Keep them closed. I am. They're still closed? Yes. All right, go ahead and open them. Oh, a necklace! How yep. thoughtful! Yep, it is made out of a special kind of stone that is supposed to keep you from harm. Okay, anything else? Uh, the cord on it's pretty nice too. Okay, I love it. Really? Yeah. Tell you what, I love it so much, I'm going to make you a pan fried chicken breast. What? I thought you said you are going to bring pork chop and sausage and stuff. I know you thought that, but I'm already starting to hear about your health and my diet, and I thought that chicken breasts would not only be a tastier option, but they would be healthier too. I soaked them in soy sauce. Oh, hold on. What? Okay, this thing is a classic. You mean old and junky. All right, but what this means is to light the stove, you need to take this lighter and light the fumes as they come out. Otherwise, the gases will fill this room, and then the tiniest of sparks will make it explode, which will make the stove explode, which will make the propane tank explode, which will make the gas tank explode. Would you like to grill outside in a couple minutes when the gas clears out? In a couple hours. Who could that be? Ah. Good morning. I was wondering if you could come and uh, give us a jump. My car died. What? You see, uh, I left the lights on in our car and it drained, uh, I got no battery, it drained the battery down and there's not enough charge to start it and we need someone to go down and give us a jump. I have cables. What? Well you see we, we bought a cemetery at the end of the road and it's basically been used for you know through the centuries on and off and it's been used for lowlifes and criminals but anyway to get to the point I really need someone to give us a jump there's a cemetery at the end of this road? Well, not really. It runs by the cemetery, but there's a nice log dock area that we are working on that we're going to make a parking lot out of. But anyway, here is my card. We are Unders and Takers Mortuary Service. I am Mr. Don Others, and this is my associate, Ms. Takers. Hello. We are under everybody's price, so we can be the takers of everybody's business. Aren't our names just the greatest for the job? Okay, so you want me to take my RV down the road and give your car a jump? If it wouldn't be a problem, we'd appreciate it. I think you should go. What? I mean, you don't have to drive down. You could just take the jump starter and then walk down and help them and then walk back up. 
All right. Uh, actually, I think I have a jumper right up here somewhere. It should be powerful enough to start a car. Show the way. Okay, perfect. Thank you. sort of crazy scrapbook? It's not even in English. I wonder, I wonder if I can find a translator for old dead language. That looks like it. Uh, let's see. There we go. Be it known to those condemned to die and that's my man. Rise again when hear my voice upon this here command. Take thy vengeance, those who died before their years were spent. Upon this day, till sun doth set, you shall be free to roam Do not linger at your task or you shall again go home Silence I live again totally wasn't worth it. You better not think that's a good gift idea. I love old books. That thing was ridiculous. All right, try it now. Hey, that's quite a little jump you got there. Yeah, it was pretty expensive, but I like it. Well, 
could give me a ride. That was another option. Dumb tree. Now that we've all been awakened from our earthly slumber, are you ready to finish what we have started? Hell yeah! No thanks to Jimmy! Hey! The guy said, if I mix this in with the cool drink mix, that will live forever! I thought I was doing us a favor! Yeah? How'd that turn out, man? Screw you, Rick! We're alive again, aren't we? Enough! Or I'll put you all in timeout. You, head back on that tree. Wait, so, how are we alive again? We are alive because someone wants us to be. Somewhere there must be an ancient book, or scroll, with the power to grant life to the dead. Someone must have used it to bind us to their will. But we're going to show them how grave a mistake they just made. Uh, yeah, how are we going to find this book? With this. An undivining rod. It's a divining rod for evil forces. But we must be quick, for I can feel the magic falling off of us. We have no more than two days to reinforce this spell, or we will go back to dust. Days? Oh, that sucks! Jimmy! Yeah, boss? I want you to find where that book is and report back to you, but don't let them see you. I don't want you screwing this up like last time. Got it. The rest of you, go out, kill some people, and find some weapons. We'll all meet back here. Right! right. Oh, it's great to be alive again. I mean... Coconut trees are more responsible for more deaths than sharks, but there's no reason to freak out. I mean, come on. Trees just don't attack people, right? I mean, this whole thing is just silly. Just a animal, yeah, just an animal. I mean, they're just bad dreams. Not like, not like trees actually try to ch choke anybody, right? Did you see a bear? No. Maybe we should go home. You're obviously not ready for this. No, I'm back in the camper now. I mean, I'm fine. Who am I kidding? It's not the woods, it's everything. Remember? Remember when I, I came out of the hospital? I, I thought that tree was going to attack me and I... Started hitting it with my crutches. Yeah, I remember that. I almost backed out of that date with you because of that. And yet you still said yes. Yeah. Hey, you want something to eat? Damn, everybody. Jimmy! Do the laundry! Jimmy! 
order pizza. Jimmy, hide these three dead hookers' bodies. Ugh, can't get no respect around here. I deserve respect around here. I actually do stuff. Not like those guys, they're lazy. Except for Mortimer. I'm the only one that knows how to do magic. Screw those guys. I deserve more respect. Those guys can only kill people with guns and knives. I actually have magic. I can throw lightning bolts with my hands. Watch this. Yeah, like that. Hello, my North Americano friends. If you are looking for the greatest budget short shells in the entire world, look no further than south of the border. Idera Shot Shells. Idera Shot Shells are owned by the factory workers, and they do not pay a big fat cat to sit on his buttocks. So if you are looking to shoot and shoot and shoot and pay little, 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 please buy Idera Shot Shells and you will be surprised at our extremely good quality. Idera Shot Shells come in all calibers and are perfect gift for the sportsmen during the Christmas season. So Feliz Navidad and buy Idera Shot Shells. Ay, 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 buy their show shells. Their show shells are the cheapest to find. The best quality are Hello? all in mind. Oh, hi, Bernie. Oh, hang on. Uh, let me mute the TV here. Uh, yeah, I was watching Back That Bass Up. It's an urban fishing show. <laughs> yeah, well, it's like all the others, only with the loud, annoying music and stupid outfits on the hosts. Because it's entertaining to see those idiots land a fish that's so small after talking about how big it's supposed to be. That's why. No, oh, hold on, someone's at the door. I'm going to have to call you back. After you. Wrong house, you gang-banging son of a... Oh! Anything but heart pills? Ah. <laughs> Don't you hate it when a old man makes a mess of your knife? Ah. Look at this. I like this, old man. This is nice. I could use this. All right. <laughs> hey, what's he doing with the girl's bike? <laughs> a lame-o. Oh, man, the door's closed. Ah, uh, what is that? Pocket calculator? Huh, you fire me? That is no painkillers? No, and I'm itching like a pocket for 20 years. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> hey. Shotgun too. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Hey Bruce. All right. Shotgun shells. All right, man. Yeah. We need those. Yeah. Hey man, this thing. Yeah. It says we've been gone for over 20 years. Years? Is that possible? I don't know, man. We got a lot of killing, raping, snoring, and rock and roll to make up for. Hell yeah, brother. Cool. Do 
Oh yeah. Thanks for having us. See you later. Oh man. Ha. See, this isn't so bad. You can stop freaking out now. Hey look, it's Robin. Where? Let's go check it out. Oh, we're gonna need a flashlight. What? I remember something. I remember something about that cabin. You do? Yeah. I remember it was really good. Yeah? Or really, really bad. You want to go get a flashlight and find out? No. Come on, let's do it anyway. Must be in that camper. This is way too easy. It's got to be a setup. This has got to be a setup. <sighs> Screw it, I'm going in. Ah! Ah! feel like nothing bad is going to happen. That's because nothing bad is going to happen. We've been robbed! Who would rob a camper out in the middle of the woods? Must be some crazy jerk. Probably looking for drugs, I don't know. Oh. That's the worst. All our clothes are here. think they might have been after something of value? The door wasn't closed, was it?
Did I kill him? Not exactly. What is that pile of stuff? Dust. Only dust. Lynn? What's wrong? I remember what happened back at the cabin. It was really, really bad. We need to go. I don't understand. Lynn. Look. There's something evil in this woods. Something that wants to kill us. Hundreds of years ago, there was a witch. She was hung or drowned or something. Point is, me and the rest of the guys, we... We stirred it up. We went into that cabin and we touched things we shouldn't have. We activated something and the point is we need to leave right now. Hmm. Hmm. Yeah. Whoa. Hello, everybody. Enjoying the film so far? Well, I'm telling you, I had to bring out one of my old grimoires, my dark magic grimoire, to uh, kind of look up uh, curses and things like that, especially curses on books. Have to have a book to find out about a book. Right, Boris? <laughs> it's all about the magic. Anyway, in this particular book, it says that to be able to get a to, uh, to, to get rid of the curse, or at least get a handle on it, we need to call up, um, well, a demon. So I guess I'll call up my old good fiend, uh, Bell Ebob. That's right, Bell, old, good old Bells. He, uh, but the thing about it, uh, Boris, is that before I can call him up, he's going to have to have a host to transfer his essence and basically his body and uh, I need well I need a volunteer are you gonna volunteer well I really need it to get rid of all this this cheeriness and and sunshininess and everything okay alright are you willing okay alright then let's get the uh, words going okay <clears throat> Excuse me. And let's get started. And Belzebub, Belzebub, Abarapa Kakanama, Kaminaki Mami Nami, come in here. We need to talk. Belzebub, Bell Easy Bub, Bells E Bub, come now. Well, hello, Bell. How you? How are you been doing? You been well? Yes. Well, we've got a problem, Belzebub. Would you like to know what it is? Okay, well, we have this book here, as you can see. Okay, well, we need help. It's cursed. Yes, it's cursed, and it's from dark magic, and we need to know how to get it done with. Can you help us? Well, yes, I can. But it's going to take a little bit of work. Well, I'm not afraid of a little bit of work, as long as it's not a whole lot of work. <laughs> anyway, yes, anyway, what you got to do is you got to take this here tome, yeah, a book, right? That's what I said. And then you've got to, well, you've actually just got to do this. What's that? I have to whisper it. You gonna whisper it? Yes, what I said. Okay. Are you sure? Absolutely. And it will take the curse. It'll bring back the gloominess and the despair and the morose and the depression and all that good stuff and the stale air and all that things. And you're absolutely 100% positive. Okay. 
Okay, well, dear folks, it seems like I've got to do a little bit of conjuring, and it also requires a little bit of perspiration and a little bit of body odor and all such gross manner of things that, uh, well, honestly, <laughs> you good people out there may not want to witness. So I'm telling you what I'm going to do. We're going to finish the film and I'm, while I'm working on this book and hopefully it'll be done and hopefully, well, you know, Boris will be back because, you know, we can't keep Beelzebub up here too long, right? Beelzebub? Right. Yeah, well, you don't really know, do you? Either way. Okay. Anyway, he's got to go back to his place and Boris has got to come back here. But I've got to do some really... Ugh, some horrors, horrendous things here. So let's get back to... This book is cursed. Say it again, Pat. Didn't quite get it. 10-4. Uh, I'll check it out in an hour. Uh, tell the old lady to stay calm. We'll be there in 10 minutes. You know the drill. what I told him not to do, and now he's dead. Again. So? We must avenge him and get that book off service. I sense the book is on the moon. Gear up. I'll block the road. Lynn, stop playing. Get in here. Fine. But don't be surprised if something unsecured flies up and kills us. What are you doing? Turn around. No time. We're getting out of here. You are driving backwards down a tiny rickety road with trees on each side. We are going to crash and die. And if you're right about the supernatural thing, then we are going to get killed. Damn curtain. I'm going to die. I'm going to die. You're going to kill me. Just press your seatbelt and hang on. Car 
heart trouble? You two, drag him off the road, kill him, and hide the body. Then meet us up the road. I have plans for the other one. Shoot him already. I want him to wake up first. It's a lot more fun that way. Why? He's already dead. He's everybody's waiting for us. Oh, come on, man. It's only a few more seconds. Plus, I want to see the look in his eyes when he dies. Wake up. There he's awake. Shoot him. Good morning. Just wanted to ask you a few questions. Why? See what the problem is? You mess with a book. A book that we need. And what I need to know is, where is it, what does it look like, and how do we use it? And why are you asking him this? We already know what's in the RV. We've been through this before, Rick. You remember that concert? <laughs> the groupie with the legs? Oh yeah, I do remember that. Yeah, but that's different, I didn't want you to kill her. That's not the point though, the point is, I need you to shut up and just let me do what I gotta do. Cause I like to see things die. Ever since the first time I killed that stray dog when I was a kid. I lured him in with a candy bar. And then I stabbed him in the neck with a screwdriver. And after I kill you, I'm gonna get your girlfriend too. And I can do it quick or slow. That's why I joined this cult. All right, just shoot him, man. Fine. I've had my fun. I've had enough of this. Have fun in the afterlife. What the hell? Oh, the safety's on. Rick! 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 You best turd.
What's your plan, Haas? Over here. Ted? That's right, it's me, Ted. But you're supposed to be dead. Guardian angel, ghost, you were hit on the head by a coconut? Take your pick. I'm just here to make sure that you don't go following that crazy little thought in your head. Running to town and getting the cops. What? How'd you know I was thinking about going to town? Let's say you get there in time and they don't take you in for drunk and disorderly conduct. By the time you get back to that RV, our girlfriend is going to be dead. Hey, she's my girlfriend now. Till death do us part, buddy. Look, I have to go. It's your choice. Bye now. Wait, what is the ultimate question? What is the meaning of life? Damn. Say, Pat, nothing seems out of the ordinary. The door is still closed. I'm going to check it out. I'm going in. Ten four. Police! Damn, the old lady was right. Pat, there's one body. Looks like possible firearms are missing. You better send the meat wagon. Any reports of weird people in the neighborhood? Actually, there was a report of a strange person that met who owns budget bearers of dignity said he ran across a strange couple in a camper on the old Haney Lion camp road. was wondering if they were trespassing. Budget bearers with dignity just bought the land up by the old Haney Logging Camp Road, right? No reason for any self-respecting person to be trespassing there. Good enough reason to bring them in. I'll check it out. Ten four. She's not looking too good. How many sleeping pills did you give her? I don't know. She spit most of them out. I hope she's, she's a okay. biter, too. I hope she's okay, man. <laughs> really? What do you care? We're going to kill her anyways after the old man's done with his... whatever. <laughs> oh, powers of evil, I call upon you now. Do not fail me. 
Oh, he of many hands. What is taking them so long? I don't know. What are we going to do? Seriously, if I could just find anything, something, just to hold me over. I wish there was something I could give you. I do have a bathroom. Only, let's see, come on. I had something stronger than aspirin. You know, I've waited long enough. I'm going to go see what's happening with Bruce and Rick. But wait, who's going to watch her? You are. I prepare ye a I call. Strengthen by this unholy pentagram. And come forth. Come forth and grab. Taking so long. Oh. oh, I didn't know I had any of you guys left. And you can hold me over until I find some more, can't you, little guy? Mm-hmm. <sighs> You are aware that we outnumber you three to one, right? Two to one. What the hell? Asshole. Tell me what you did with Lynn before I shoot you right in the back. Stop! You do not understand what you're doing. If I don't finish this incantation, horrible consequences will ensue. Evil will walk the earth. Wrong answer. I've got magic in my bones. Now be quiet, whilst I harness the power of it. Oh, powers of Please wake up. Lynn, please wake up. Go away. Ow. You okay? Pat, something's wrong here. I'm going in on foot. I sure as I wouldn't be caught up there. Some kind of crazy cult of murdering gun-toting pe- You there, 
and the camper. Come out with your hands behind your head. Oh, what the? Ah! This is a temporary solution. All right. Thank you. What to do now? Lynn, don't move. A thousand hands running off, I gotta deal with mosquitoes too! Hoss? Little busy! What's going on? Lynn, stay inside! Of course it would. Yeah, keep feeling your way up here. I'm only loading. Hoss! What? I don't think this is working! I know! What the hell? Are you regenerating these things? Would you just bleed to death already? Paper, paper, paper. Oh, I wish I could finish this. I'll have to buy it online. Come on, show your face! I'm not afraid. I'm not afraid of you anymore! Oh. Get down! 
What are you talking about? I'm kicking its ass! The stove is going to explode! Oh. Oh, come on. Oh, my leg. Let's go. My leg. Let's go. Oh. Oh. oh, my RV. Oh, my leg. Oh. It'll be okay. You're okay. Uh. Do you know what happened? I'm still a little fuzzy. Yeah. Uh. I'll fill you in later. Just gotta know what started it this time. Oh, uh, was that book you got a present for me? Which one? It was kind of leather with a bunch of ancient writing in it. I know what started it. Ow, ow. Uh, you know what the worst part is? What? We're gonna have to walk all the way down to the road with my leg. Maybe we won't have to. I think I have a cell phone in my pocket. We could just call your brother. Oh, my things. Life is about more than things. I will have to buy that book online, though. Down the old Haney Logging Camp Road? I'm on my way. Well, I say that was a pretty impressive day we had today. Of course, it's not every day the local middle school girls softball team you sponsor has a victory. Yeah, I'm feeling kind of bad. I should have never called the cops on that nice camper back there. I mean, after all, I don't even know if he was trespassing. I never call the cops. Hey, is that coming from our graveyard? Let's go check it out. That 
might not be such a bad train! Wow, am I glad we wore our seatbelts. Yeah. Well, it seemed to have done it. <laughs> yeah, the, the book seems to have, have uh, defunct itself with that last spell that we did. And uh, anyway, the good old still air, and of course good old Boris is back, and, uh, and, and our moroseness and our depressionness, and all the wonderful things that we come to love and expect here at Gargoyle Manor, the Monster Museum. Right, Boris? <laughs> and as you can see, everything's back to normal now, or abnormal, or, or uh, well, you, you get the idea. But anyway, wasn't that a wonderful film? This book is cursed with uh, Norman Butt and his pals and all those wonderful young actors. It's, it's, uh, it's, it's, I want to really try to find the words here, but, um, I just, well, I want to thank them. I want to thank Norman Butt, and I want to thank all his cast and crew for making these wonderful independent films so that horror hosts like myself will have something to show when, honestly, when all the public domain films have dried up. <laughs> we hope it won't be for any time in the future, but we're going to kind of intersperse as much as we can from independent filmmakers as well as public domain old classics. And this here film that you saw tonight, folks, I'm sure it is going to be a classic. And it's already a great film, right, Boris? And we're also so glad that Beelzebub has gone back to where he needs to be. Right, Boris? It's always good to have my friend and pal always by my side. <laughs> anyway, good folks and bad folks. <laughs> I do hope you enjoyed yourselves as much as we enjoy ourselves each and every episode. <laughs> so, get yourselves into your beds, coffins, perches, slabs, you name it. Get to them. Enjoy your night because we'll be lurking for you, as Dr. Paul Bear says, but as Bobby Gamonster says, as always, keep screaming. <laughs>